I would say if we did not have our daily huddle, I don't think we would be as productive as we could be. So yes, I truly believe that the huddle where we overlap makes such a big difference that it's become so important that anybody that we hire moving forwards will have to agree that we have a daily huddle at this time, because that's something I'm not willing to cater to and say, hey, regardless of what your situation might be, our huddle time is this time. Can you make that happen? If not, I'm going to put the huddle first over a potential hire. I think it's truly that important because I've just seen so many huddles where we look at the board and go, okay, this needs attention. What happens next? What's the next action? And when three or four people or five or six or seven people are looking at it and say, hey, we need to figure this out or this problem is going to come up. There's so much transfer of knowledge that otherwise wouldn't happen when you're async. Like when we're async and we post on Slack saying, hey, I'm working on this. Please have a look at this. I'm stuck. Not everybody will actually look at that first and foremost. But then also too, you might get conflicting feedback and you might also get uh Erroneous feedback as well, where people might say, hey, you should do this. And the other person might say, actually, no, you, sh you should do that because th something changed because of X, Y, and Z, right? So when we have the overlap, there's so much transfer of knowledge and wisdom and communication that it's worth those 10 minutes of being together to alleviate a lot of roadblocks that then free up other people the rest of the day to work asynchronously the rest of the time, right? So if we take a quote unquote 40 hour work week, and we work eight hours a day and we spend 10 minutes being overlapping with the work that we do. Those 10 minutes are some of the most valuable, productive time that we have in those eight hours compared to not having it whatsoever.